What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another Legacy Cube draft. We're going to do a stipulation here today by Spider View. Uh, the stipulation is Aggressive Naya. If possible, have Mike draft it without any help. Unfortunately, Mike is not here. And uh, he, he won't be until next week. Maybe. And uh, But we're still going to draft an Aggressive Naya deck. Catch it on the YouTube's evening shift at the Insane Asylum. Warm me out. Gotta go to bed. Spider View, have a good night, buddy. Thanks so much for the uh, for the step. Really appreciate it, buddy. Sneak could be aggressive. I think Monarch Sergeant is also pretty good. I think Sneak Attack is uh, it's it's nice money. because we had eight months time to discuss baby names. I like Frankel Stank, but Lapur it combines both our family names. Does it? Does it? Does it? I think as long as the child has a hat, uh, a shirt for a hat, I think it's fine. Let's take Sneak Attack. I don't think Monastery Mentor is particularly aggressive. Whereas Sneak Attack is pretty aggressive. If we're Naya, Avacyn's Pilgrim is pretty decent. Pretty decent. Wooded Foothills also very, very good. I'm going to take the Wooded Foothills, actually. If we're Naya, that's, that's pretty okay. Geddon is aggressive. I think you guys know what it means by ag aggressive Naya. You guys are being ridiculous. Hmm. Well, nothing super aggressive here. I can take Young Pyromancer, but I don't imagine we're going to have that many spells. Ancient Grudge and Journey to Nowhere. Journey to Nowhere is alright. Acidic Slime is decent, but like... It's not aggressive. Like, there's nothing really aggressive in this pack, though. I like Acidic Slime more than I like Journey to Nowhere. This guy's pretty aggressive. <laughs> I mean, he's expensive, but we also have sneak attack, so... Legion Warboss, also pretty, uh, pretty aggressive. Oh, MCG Power with the sneaky, sneaky bits. Thanks so much, buddy. Really appreciate it. Yeah, I think this guy's good enough. Oh, man, I like Biogenic Ooze, and I like Voice of Resurgence. Fascinating. I bet the voice comes back. I want to take the Ooze. I think the Ooze is a little bit stronger. Um, Loxanon is decent. I think we want the Search for Mario for playing three colors. That's true, it does have evasion. If you go wide enough, everything has evasion. Stomping ground. Jade Light Ranger. Ooh, I think I want the stomping ground here. I don't want to like not have fixing. Kodama's Reach also nice, but I'd rather just have mana. Like, this is a pretty replaceable card. Whereas, like, a fetch land on color is uh, really nice.
Hornet Queen, Elspeth, Ulamog when we have a sneak attack. I mean, it's not it's not annihilating. I think I actually like Elspeth a lot here. I feel like we're leaning more towards mid-range than aggressive, but I don't know if this deck, I don't know if this this format actually has like a, a hyper aggressive deck where you're just like a bunch of low to the ground creatures. Ooh, Monastery Mentor. Monastery Mentor seems great here. I think I like your face a lot. Well, when do you know for sure? Beast within. Armageddon is pretty interesting. Yeah, a lot has to go right to get that. I, I agree. Because, I, like, you're, you almost try to do it with the mono red deck, and even the mono red deck is pretty hard. I'm just going to take Beast within. That is a... Yeah, Ancient Grudge is good. All right, we're doing it. Oh, that's that's a good one. That's a, that's a sneaky boy. Oh, Utopia Sprawl comes back? Oh, that's nice. Sure. All of this is okay. Wow. Okay. Uh, no, the day we arrive on the planet. Dragosi, what's going on, buddy? Happy stream. Hope to run into you on the ladder. And uh, at the stream period on Tuesday, super excited for war. What's the card you are the most hyped about? Niv Mizzet Reborn, I think. Oracle of Moldiah. I think we're taking. Thank you so much for the reset, buddy. Really appreciate it. You are awesome. Been a long time. Been a long time. I'm going to take Oracle. I think. Yeah, it's got to be Oracle. Oracle, if you will. Ooh, I like a Knight of Autumn and I like a Tree Speaker, but Knight of Autumn is pretty replaceable. It might even come back because Celestia is not a super popular combination. We're just going to take the Tree Speaker. Ugin, that's a pretty sweet one to sneak attack in. Just kidding. Woodfall Primus, however, is. Because you sneak attack it in, then you sacrifice it, then it comes back. That's pretty choice. Yeah, we're taking that guy for sure. Thrag Tusk, that guy's aggressive. Figure of Destiny is alright. What up, Mossy Bread? <laughs> Got him. Yeah, I'll just take Thrag Tusk here. Copper Line Gorge. Here's Rex. Oh, I like a Johnny here, actually. Yeah, Johnny seems pretty good. Arid Mesa. Yes, please. Yes, please. I like a Glorbringer, too, but Arid Mesa is too good. Too good. Big Brims, but Big Brims is double white, which I don't love. If I play this guy on three, on turn four we have six mana, but we can't cast an Elspeth off of it. It does ramp us to any one of these, though. It's not terrible. Siege Gang also nice. Lightning Greaves could be good. Meh. Not super excited about that. Hmm. Um, I think some graveyard hate's fine. I mean, like, what else is there besides relic? Sorry, 
Sacred Foundry. That's pretty sweet because now we can get a red, uh, white, or green with that. Yeah, we'll take Sacred Foundry. I like Huntmaster. I like Wicker Bilder, but Sacred Foundry is pretty strong. When you said, is this 1989? The only thing I thought of was the Taylor Swift album, 1989. <laughs> Beast Whisper Thran Dynamo. That was a late Thran Dynamo. No one respects the Thran Dynamo in this cube. And the Night of Autumn did actually come back much as we figured it would. That's pretty sweet. Mm. I guess it's just Rick's Mad Eye Reveler. What up, X Match? Do you know your words from it? I actually don't. But you guys can check out CoolStuffInc.com if you're interested in a pretty sweet, uh, at least I think so, a sweet Niv-Mizzet Reborn build. Uh, I had an article go up on Wednesday of this week, uh, April 17th. And uh, it's all about Niv-Mizzet, so check that out. And if you use uh, promo code FRANK5, you can get 5% off your purchase over at CoolStuffInc.com. I'm going to take this Faithless Looting. Oh, wow. Copperline Gorge. All, all three of these are playable for us. We have a Knight of Yavimaya and an Acidic Slime, so I'm just going to take the Gorge. The old Gorge. If you use the code Mike10, you actually pay 10%. We have there's a 10% surcharge on top of your order if you do that. 700, you say? I didn't. I didn't say that. I didn't even say that. <laughs> wow, you clipped me typing. That's amazing. <laughs> Oh boy, we got the sneak attack here, my dudes. Okay, so now they're asking us, hey, would you like Emrakul or would you like Primeval Titan? And I don't really have an answer. If the words are A and I, wow. Wow, oh God. Oh God. Ugh. I mean, if we get something like Tooth and Nail, it's better, but, like, we have Sneak Attack. I don't see Emrakul wheeling here. We could also get through the Breach, which makes it even better. Is just having this one good enough? Oh. <sighs> 
I'm gonna take Primeval Titan. I think it's better for the. I think it's just in general better for the deck. Because we we do have an Ulamog, and if we have two of these and no sneak attack, it's just worse. So like this is just a better. It's better diversifying. Oh boy. Uh, I like Conclave. See, like, as you can see, like, we're not passing a ton of, like, aggressive white, red, or green creatures. There's just not a ton in the cube, so I'm trying to be as aggressive as possible here without, like, devolving into full-on um, green ramp, you know? So hopefully that's okay. Um, I'm going to take Fertile Ground because it triggers Monastery Mentor, and it does ramp us. We do want to hit these four drops. I think it's probably better than Elf here. I do like a Natural Order. I also like a Domri Raid. Uh, the only thing wrong with full-on green ramp, as you might know because I'm a fan of it, is uh, that that's not the stipulation. Here of Bladehold, also very good. Hmm. I mean, we have all the we have all the hits here, so I mean, I think it's got to be natural order in this particular deck. My only concern is a lack of greenish creatures to sacrifice. We only have Tree Speaker, Yavin, my Elder Knight of Autumn, and Shaman that are really that good. How many? Uh, we only have one four drop. We have three five drops, one six drop. Good amount of three drops, no two drops. So I don't think Birthing Pod's where we want to be. We do have two fixing lands, along with the Cold Steel Heart and a Karn. No, I don't think Pod is good. I do kind of like one of these two. Yeah, I'm actually not a big Horizon Canopy fan, I'll be honest. I think I kind of just like Lyra here. I mean, Lyra's a card. Oh, a Plateau is fantastic. Wow. I like Lyra because she's a card that just like wins you the game if they can't if they can't deal with it. Like it shuts down so many things. Raging Green is pretty awesome here. Wall of Blossoms also very good with natural order, but I, I bet Wall of Blossoms even comes back. Like there's two cards left in this pack. Wall of Blossoms could easily be one of them. Here's a Kozilek Butcher of Truth. That's a yikes for me, dog. I, I don't know. Why wouldn't I play Lyra? I can't imagine not playing Lyra. All right, our fixing is fine. We have Wooded Foothills, Sacred Foundry, Plateau, Arid Mesa. Like, we have four white sources. We also have Fertile Ground, Utopia Sprawl, Search for Tomorrow, uh, Shaman of the Forgotten Ways. Like, we have eight white sources without even adding a planes, so I don't think that's going to be a concern. Sun Petal Grove. All right. Well, we don't need playables anymore. Hmm. Yeah, just going to take Sun Petal Grove. That's actually very good. I mean, worst case scenario, I'll just replace the Ulamog with it. <laughs> you know? You know what I'm saying? Take the Conclave Tribunal for sure. I don't think I care about the Ren Dynamo in this deck. Wow, Domri, Plat Path, and Sakura Tribuilder came back? Hmm. Hmm. I do like a Path here. Needle Spires came back? Sure. Wall of Blossoms did come back, guys. All right, so we need two cuts here. I actually think this deck looks pretty sweet. Yeah, I like Path better just because we don't have that kind of effect, whereas we already have Sakura Tribal Builder effect. Also, our sideboard's stacked. Beast Within, Carnage Tyrant is nice, Day of Judgment's nice. 
And our, oh, nine, nine lands, nine uncolor lands. That's great. You don't think we need Crater Hoof with Elspeth? A weird, you're a weird dude, Ben. You are a weird gentleman. I don't, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know what to make of it, man. You guys thinking to cut Lyra? I, I, have you guys ever cast a Lyra before? That card is unbeatable. I would sooner cut a Johnny Vengeance than Lyra, I think. Can we cut Druid? It's not for aggro. Yeah, but if we're going by that, then we're like, oh, we can cut Tree Speaker. It's not for aggro. We can cut uh, Shaman of the Forgotten Ways. It's not for aggro. Oracle of Maldaya is not for aggro. Like, Wall of Blossom is not aggro. Fertile Ground's not. Like, I mean, that's not really. With, I feel like that's a weird bar to, to set it at. Uh, I think Monster Mentor is actually great in here with Search for Morrow, Utopia Sprawl, Path to Exile. And, like, we have a ton of early cheap spells that, that trigger Mentor, including, like, a bunch of four drops that also trigger mentor like I mean I can actually see just cutting a Johnny Yeah, I can see cutting Conclave. The only thing I don't like about Conclave is that we, if we play Conclave first, then we Emrakul, like, they just get their thing back. Um, yeah, this seems good. I like this. So, Arid Mesa gets green. One, two, three, four, five, six. This is ten. Ten's good for now. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Probably go to eight, make it eleven. White, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay. Do we want 16 land with this deck? One, two, three, four, five. We have five rampy spells. I mean, ideally these are just gonna get snecked, snecked out. I'm just gonna say, we'll, we'll say 16 for now. We'll see how that goes. Two one drops, three two drops. Actually, we also have search, so three one drops, three two drops that can help us get land. Snap keep. Sneep, if you will. We're doing it. This is better. <laughs> this is much better. Watch for draw needle spires. Are you ready? Here's our fellows. Oh, that's much better for us. So next turn we have four, we can go one, two, three, play this, then we have two lands, that doesn't do anything. I'd much rather just suspend this now and then get it in two turns if we need to. Your hands make the control S movement on the paper? <laughs> Is that a thing that just happened? That's some weird stuff right there. I don't care about that. Although they're, they're really trying to hone in on our... They're trying to horn in on our ooze tribal strategy here. If we hit just a land, we're probably just playing biogenic ooze here, right? We did not. We did not. 
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven mana. I have never cheered bits to anyone before, so here have my deflowered bits. Two X's, thank you so much, buddy. Really appreciate it. Welcome, welcome. Well, welcome, welcome to the to the bit life. Shaman is probably just better, right? I mean, we're not going to be cast. The only thing we can't cast is Incinerate, but we can't cast that with Druid anyway. I guess so. If we play this and we hit a land, then we'll have six, so we can use five to cast this and then cast Shaman off of it. No, wait, we can do that anyway, because we'll have one, two, three, four. Yeah, we can just do that. I like that better. Okay, well, add two, level up. Okay, we did it. So next time we find, we'll just find a mountain, and then we'll add five, level this up, and then we'll play Shaman. Yeah, I like that. I feel like we're having a nice a nice fair game here. Oh, they got four mana now. Okay. Well, that's less fair, but... Maybe they just cracked the clue. They did. They just cracked their clue. I could also see getting a mountain, upping Incubation Druid, and then uh, incinerating the Tireless Tracker while we still have a chance. I think we're going to do that. We don't have a single mountain in the deck. Let's uh, let's fix that next game. Okay, well that's kind of like a mountain, I guess. So now we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine mana. We can crater hoof next turn. That's pretty cool. But uh, I think we'll just wait two turns, right? Wow, an island, a utopia sprawl for blue. Wow, they just exploded with the blue mana here. Consecrated Sphinx. Oh god. Oh, treachery. How nice. Oh, we have Night of Autumn, I guess. That's pretty good. How much mana can we make? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So we're one away from being able to do both of these things. If we draw a land, it'd be nice. I have no idea what just happened. Solid draw. Um, I really want to play the ooze because it makes our crater have so much better next turn. Seven mana, right? I'm not going crazy. I mean, this gets us two creatures on the board for Crater Hoof next turn. And this is also one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So if we hit a land, we get to, uh, we have three, three total guys and five. Alternatively, this is five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13 mana. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11. 
That's not going to do it. Alternatively, we could just draw a sneak attack. No, we can't. We have one red source. That is unfortunate. Okay, one land is not terrifying, unless their last card is like Time Warp or something. Or it's just Crater Hoof. Just, you can tap that. Yeah, fuck me, right? Of course it is. Of course your last card is Crater Hoof Behemoth. Why wouldn't it be? Makes total sense. It would be surprising if it wasn't Crater Hoof Behemoth. I would be surprised if it was not Crater Hoof Behemoth as your last card in hand. All right, so we have eight sources of red. Eight sources of white. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten sources of green. Uh, no, it does not. It only traps for the colors you have that your lands can produce. I mean, it's probably just planes, right? Why does cube on arena sound awful? That sounds fine to me. I mean, you're just playing cube on arena. I mean, I think playing magic on arena is totally fine. Oh yeah, this hand seems hot trash. This is fine. Oh, are they mulligan too? Oh, nice. Uh, why would it make it hard for old players, though? Like, I can see why new players... I, I mean, I think cube in general is hard for new players. If you're a new player, cube is not an appealing format for you. So I don't think being on... I don't think, like, if you're a new player and you're like, oh, no, I can't play cube on Magic on, on MTG Arena because there's not a ton of information, I don't think you're going to have any easier a time on Magic Online. That could be good at some juncture. Nope, don't do that. All right. If we can just top take an Emrakul here, that'd be gas, right? <laughs> oh, excuse me. They miss a land drop? Are they just thinking about what land to play? Sure. Obviously. <laughs> Obviously. Lucky, 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 lucky. Oh, it is pouring rain again, guys. Okay, well, I guess that's all they need to see. Oh, man, Snack Attack is right, my dude. Oh, boy. 
Oh boy. Well, I guess that makes up for the crater hoof, am I right? Oh god, this weather is coming down. We might have to we might be might be dead here, boys. I'm gonna submit my deck real quick. Oh god, the the weather just got insanely bad. Is my internet solar based? No, but even if it was, it would probably have enough reserved in order to, uh... Solar is not... See, you know what? I'm gonna keep this hand. You know what, man? I'm, I'm really tired of the misconception that if it's not sunny, your solar power won't work. Solar works by charging batteries so that you have reserves of power. Not to say you didn't know that, but I just, I'm just, I'm just having an issue myself right now. Man, no one drop here. Come on, give me a give me a two drop. You see, the internet is a series of tubes. They're gonna just play tireless tracker, and I'm gonna cry. I don't care about that. Use your brain. <laughs> oh, crying out loud. Use your brain, you stupid Melvin. Okay, well, one, two, three, four, five. They're gonna just play Primeval Titan next turn. We're gonna be like two lands go. Okay, none of these are. They have one card in hand, and this is like your... Alright, I'm not very impressed right now. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Well, we're just going to run this guy out there because it lets us play Primeval Titan if it resolves, or if it, if it sticks. And we're going to hope they don't hit land Crater Hoof. Now they can't. One, two, three, four, five, six. And if they crack this guy and did that, they would only have two creatures to attack with anyway, so... It's all good. Three, three? Oh, I'm good. Heavy breathing. Thank you. Gunners, welcome back. Thanks so much for the reset, buddy. Really appreciate it. Um, I'm sorry, are you countering this? No, you're cracking a clue. Okay. Oof. I mean, they could also go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, land crater hoof. So, you know, we ain't out of the woods yet. We could also top deck a uh, sneak attack and... All right, well, fingers crossed, I guess. And they're like, if I play Crater Hoof here, do I just win? I think so. Yeah, I'll just do that. Oh my god, it's so obnoxious, dude. This is 26. I can block 6, so I take 20. Cool. Oh my god, it's so fucking obnoxious. Get to play Woodfall Primus, kill this, like Never don't have it is is it's not it's like Like the only the only situations they don't have it is when we happen to have it as well. Like, hey, we got to sneak attack an Emrakul, that was super cool, but like when it comes to a game where we actually have to, you know, play the cards and things, they're always gonna win that one.
Snap keep. Snap keep. I thought it was just me that got one out of soft. No, it's me every single game. Every single game. Thank you. It's popcorn bag. Thank you. So <laughs> Don't worry me. I'm just here for the free popcorn. Aren't we all, buddy? Aren't we all? Thank you so much for the resub. Really appreciate it. Welcome back. You are the popcorn bag we need, but not the one we deserve. I actually thought this was a furl ground. I was like, oh, I could play that on turn two. But it's Utopia Sprawl, guys. It's Utopia Sprawl. Oh, God. Here we go. No, that's fine. Take my Utopia Sprawl, please. And a Dread Wander, huh? Okay. All right, feeling good, feeling good. Popcorn's a nice, uh, corn in general is a nice food because it's so versatile. No blocks, I'll take three. Oh dear. Well, they don't have a third land. Oh god, famous last words. One, two, three, four, six, seven, eight, nine. We put ourselves in a position to have nine lands here. Oh, they hit a third land. Everything is terrible. No blocks here again. <laughs> oh, Lord. Yep. Well, that's not a thing I care about. I mean, it does let us play Sneak Attack and trigger Monastery Mentor, which is nice. However, I'd rather have a 3-5 blocker at this particular juncture. I mean, they have two lands. I don't think we're in that bad of a shape here. We have three pretty decent blockers. Yeah, that's right. Take two. They're basically dead. Do you guys know that uh, when you play Knight's Whisper, you actually have to get rid of the Knight's Whisper, so you're really only drawing one card? <laughs> Terrible. Emrakul. Yeah, Johnny's actually pretty good. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We can actually play everything here, can't we? Red, white, and then make a, make a million red. One, two, three. Yeah, that's fine. This is probably going to be game, right? Because one thing we can do here is actually kill the... Um, We can actually kill this dude. Get the Utopia Sprawl, play the Utopia Sprawl. Or we can kill a rat. Yeah, we're just gonna kill a rat here. I mean, the Johnny dies, but that's fine. I feel like with all the monks and the acidic slimes and things, I think we're fine. Okay. 
Well, that's just rude. There are a lot of cards we can draw here. Crater Hoof, Emrakul, uh, Woodfall Primus. We were wide enough to have evasion. You're right. What do you get back here? Grave Titan? Sure. That's, uh, believe it or not, that's not one of the cards that we were hoping to hit. So I'm just going to pass here. It's unfortunate. Woodfall Primus would be nice. We could kill the Necromancy. Team Jabra, what's going on, buddy? <laughs> what's going on, guys? Welcome, welcome. Man, good times. Wow, look at this. This is aggressive. All right, well. How are we doing this? Block here. Block here. No, wait, that's not going there. What am I thinking? Um, Just block here. Block here. I guess that's fine. We'll just take three. What am I missing here? What's the trick here? My new Facebook buddy. What's going on, dude? So. Hold on one second. I think this is fine. That seems bad, right? I feel like that was pretty good so jbro am i correct in in seeing that like you're an actual legislator <laughs> is that um yeah sure send me the link knock yourself out that'd be awesome okay it all makes sense now He's a state representative. Yeah, that's insane. Like, where do you find time to get 33 trophies, bro? Like, I don't understand. Like, I was thinking about this the other day. I was like, how do you have, like, an actual, like, full-time job, 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 a family, and then you still have, like, 40 trophies, dude? I'm like, I don't understand where you find the time to do this. Oh, good. You had a malicious affliction. That's that's pretty good. <laughs> yeah, I'm also asleep. Okay. He just never loses. I think that's actually true. I really think that's actually correct. I was not expecting a damnation from this deck. Okay, well, we're just sitting here with this sneak attack. All right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We have nine mana. And then the big returns and lights up my life, so we're all good. Thank goodness. Thank goodness. That's all I could ask for. Okay, I'm gonna I'm opening this uh, this video and I'm just gonna keep it up so that I watch it when I'm done. <coughs> yeah, Jaber, I saw that article that now this article and I was like, wait a minute, wait a minute.
missed an attack? I don't know what that means. I don't think we did. <laughs> I'm I'm pretty sure I'm not going to attack into them when they can attack back for three. I don't think I don't think we're winning that race. Yeah. Oh, that's a good one. That's a good one. Okay, so had I expected the uh, the damnation out of the pack rat dread wanderer kite sail freebooter deck, I probably would not have uh, overextended. But here we are. Favorite new card in the cube? Uh, Fractured Identity for sure. I actually, actually, I actually, actually, I said uh, actually twice there. I actually picked one up to add to my cube because I think that card is sweet, and I actually didn't know it existed until uh, until this cube iteration. So. It is also Passover this week. Weekend, rather. Man, there's a lot of stuff going on this weekend. This is a... Oh, alright, well. Fascinating. I guess they just have a land and they're just trying to see if they can get... Get through? I can't imagine they have, like... What's a creature? Eye Blight's uh, Hunter? Eye Blight Hunter or something? Where it's, like, a 2-2 two -two that gives you Neg-1, Neg-1? Yeah, if you guys haven't done so, definitely check out CoolStuffInc.com. You can find an article I wrote this past Wednesday about Niv. Oh, I see. You did have something. That's nice. Uh, about Niv Mizzet Reborn. It's a five-color deck that I'm looking forward to trying out. I feel like we're doing pretty poorly here. I don't feel like we're in good shape. How do you guys feel about that? feel better now not much better though right because they can sack everything four or five six and then they still keep two fairies they block with one and then we're likely dead four five six block with the fairy hmm. well you gotta do what you gotta do, am I right? Emrakul does not have Trample, unfortunately. That would be amazing if it did, but that is not the case. Do you think this Emrakul has Trample? Man, you guys are... You guys are living in a different time. The other Emrakul has Trample, the new one. This one does not. It's weird that Emrakul got Trample after... Are they just going to stack all their lands? I mean, we're at five, so yep, that's exactly what I thought they would do. Now they block, we take two. If they find a land, we take another two. Yep, shuffle that graveyard back in. I mean, if we could top deck the other Emrakul, that'd be gas. If we could just... Come on, one time, hit that other Emrakul. Live this dream. Plains is also good. All right. Well, we tried. Watch the next card. It's going to be Emrakul. You ready? It was not. I wonder where the Emrakul went. Oh, well, it doesn't matter. It's way too, way too far. Way too far gone. Um, hmm. I mean, we could bring in Carnage Tyrant. I don't know if it's better than any of these other cards. If we drew an Elspeth there, I think that game would have been pretty gas. Yeah, the point of Annihilator. Annihilator and Trample are kind of... Uh, uh, they're, they're mechanics that are kind of at odds. Because Annihilator, the point of Annihilator is to get rid of the creatures that are in your way. Um, whereas if it tramples over, like it's you might as well just say win the game on it. Which it kind of does. But sometimes it doesn't, so... Your ability to draw lands when not needed is unreal. Not trying to rub salt, but just stating facts. Not sure which magic god you made mad, but you've accomplished that. That never rubs salt in, actually. In fact, the validation that it's not just in my head, that it's not just confirmation bias or, like, 
that I'm just maybe I'm like seeing like I'm seeing myself drawing more lands than I actually am. Um, that actually is is <laughs> let's just mull to five here. You know what? Sure. Let's get rid of two cards. We'll get rid of Elspeth and probably Monastery Mentor here. <laughs> I get stopped by a 1 1 fairy token. 100% true. 100% true. Oh. Oh, land off the top, land off the top, land off the top. Don't kill my incubation druid and I'll land off the top. These are all I want. Okay, we're doing it. Oh. Buttery biscuits. We can get Primeval Titan or we can get Woodfall Primus. Can they deal with a Woodfall Primus, dude? They have, we have a 6-6, six, six, and if they kill it, they lose another land. I don't think they can deal with this. <laughs> Who really wins the rat race? I, I don't think being stuck on lands is actually that terrible here. Like, they make a 2-2. Two -two, they can't make another rat. So we're just going to... Like, they have to double block Knight of Autumn and then we kill two things if they do that. Not poor Moochel. He's still in debt from it. Man, I love that all these nicknames I come up with from Michael are... are, are they just stick? <laughs> Listen, Moochel. That's not even a real name. That's not even... That doesn't even make any sense. So they're just blocking and then making a second... Oh, they're just literally throwing their pack rat away. That's how much we care about pack rat. Just put it in the trash can, my dude. Listen, Bobby Butters. <laughs> That's a name he came up with. I didn't even come up with that. He's like, you're talking to Bobby Butters. And I was like, oh my god, who are you? Oh, Lord. See, this is what we were talking about. We're like, oh, that's cool. You just kill my thing, and uh, I still get a 5-5, five five and that's cool. This is why we didn't get prime time. I mean, if I guess I guess if we did, we'd still have these, but they would have more mana, and they would have played this a turn sooner, and, like, it's just all... Oh, this is just uh, let me let me have a peek before I concede. You got it. You got it. I don't think he ever did have an English name. Every day is Chicken Sunday. I'm actually tempted to bring in this Dauntless Bodyguard because they have the uh, the damn not damn Nazion. I think our deck is good. Someone said Incinerate, uh, Beast with no Incinerate. I think Incinerate takes out too many of their relevant creatures. Like, it takes out Kite Self Rebooter. It takes out, uh, what's it called? Pack Rat. It takes out... And I'll keep this hand because of that. Um, Crypt Breaker. Anyone reschedule for a stiff for me? Uh, for sure. For sure. For sure. I can keep saying it. I can keep going. It's whatever. For sure. So I like my typical my default is thirty five for stip just because it costs ten for me to to actually enter the event and usually you're not gonna win. Like usually you'll get like a one two or a two one with a stip. 
Um, and then like, so it's, and it usually takes about two hours. So that's been my default. If you guys ever have an issue with that or like, that's too much, I'm definitely willing to work with anybody because it's not meant to like price people out. It's just meant for like, A, I don't get flooded. B, it's mostly just an appreciation for the time. Okay. Well, that's a big dude. A buck oh five? Well, probably not worth my time at that point. I'd probably just have more fun doing a regular draft, but, uh, you know. The rich get richer. That seems good. That seems great. What I'd like to do is draw a four drop, then a land, then a land. That's what I want. They did not... Okay, well, that's a chew drop, but I accept it. Because it's basically like a four drop. Oh, the, the weather is, is perfect again. It's beautiful outside again. The sun is shining. Man, Florida weather is so weird, dude. It's unbelievable. It is unbelievable. My work schedule is crazy right now. Working 12-hour shifts, five days a week currently. So if I get a stiff now, when do you think it would be possible to do? Sorry for what you... Uh, I can do it after this draft if you want. So Tuesday is... Um, I'm going to be doing the early access streamer event all day. Boom. This guy. Um, on MTG Arena. So I'm not going to have... I'm probably not going to do many cube drafts, if any, on Tuesday. I'll probably just be, be jamming some some war brews um but all day monday whatever else i do today and on wednesday i should be cubing so i should be mark cubing will i be drafting a cube in logan i didn't know i was doing that i knew we were gonna go see avengers but i didn't know that we were drafting a cube as well All right, that's pretty good. Yeah, this game's pretty pretty bunk. I'm going to play this instead because I don't really feel like... I mean, you got, you're hurting on lands, so... One sec. Awesome. Appreciate it. Um... Hmm. Well, now I don't want Liliana to flip, so I'm just going to take this. <laughs> let's go we got red 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 white 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 green green we'll just say another green I mean, yeah, we'll have to figure out times because if we have tickets to Avengers and I, I don't get into like, I think everyone gets in at like noon, so it's going to take us an hour to drive. So we'll probably be back by like two. Probably want to get some food and then dinner before Avengers. Like, I mean, this, it, it feels like the day's packed, so we'll have to see. But I mean, I'm, I'm game for drafting cubes. So I just want to make sure we're not one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I also feel like the opponent is, uh, is not doing very well mana wise. Yep. That's not going to flip Liliana though, so that's good. You're seeing Avengers on Tuesday? You maniac. Got that Microsoft perks. Let me see if I can find out when those. Hmm. 
I believe it's like at 10 p.m. Friend of mine works for CNN, has press advanced screening. Nice. Nice. Mossy Beard, you got time. You got a week to do it. You can watch one every three days and you'd probably still be all right. Uh, I really don't want this Liliana to flip, but I also don't want to... What does this do? Each player discards a card? Yeah, we'll let, we'll let Elspeth take two. I ain't discarding my Crater Hoof. That's a yikes for me, dog. Can I go land here? That's pretty good. The... <laughs> Did they know I had that? Interesting. Shut up and take my money. Interesting. Stip monies. Nice. I don't know what our stip is though. You gotta let me know. Did we have Crater Hoof in hand when they brain maggoted? I don't think so. Man, they didn't even let me ultimate. Or like, you know, plus Elspeth and then kill all the things. That's what I was hoping to do. Yeah, I'll, yeah, I'll play first. Yeah, I'll keep this. Oh boy, will I keep this. <coughs> yeah, we didn't crater of ultimate. Unfortunately, I have to go to work now. Ash, Ash, have a good night, buddy. Lucky, 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 lucky. Cool. That's the best hymn to Torak I've ever seen in my life. You got it. Thank you. Santor, Sultai, uh, Frank, happiness. Stim must take Ashiok, treachery him if possible. The rest of the team enjoy for. Nice. Oh, man. That's good stuff. All right. So hold on. We got to discard a card, I'm sure. For some reason, this app does not like highlighting things and let me copy it. We get to play Thrag Tusk. We're just going to get rid of Primeval Titan, I guess. God, I really don't like it. Seems good. I kind of just like killing the Liliana here. I guess we'll use Raging Green because that just gets better over time. And this is problematic, but we have lots of draws. Like we have Acidic Slime, Night of the Ro Night of the uh, Night of Autumn. Whatever that thing's called, you know it. Santhor, thank you so much for the support, buddy. Really appreciate it. Well, that guy's scary. So is Thrag Tusk, though. Joke's on you, buddy. Man, two cards a turn? God, that him was so insane, dude. They're just gonna take both of the cards. Sure. Could've hit Primeval Titan, could've hit Land, could've hit Thrag Tusk. You hit Sneak Attack and Emrakul. And again, like, if they hit the Sneak Attack, hitting the Emrakul is fine. But the fact that they hit both is just pretty impressive.
I'm not sure what Jared's verdict does. Huh. Jared's verdict's pretty good. Yeah, I like that. Oh, that's pretty good. I mean, she don't have no pro demons, but... Our opponent has five cards in hand, four mana up. What can go wrong? You got it. You can do whatever you want. Uh, Gerard's verdict has two R's. Gerard has two R's. G-E-R-R-A-R-D, that's why. She ain't messing with no broke broke? What does that even mean? No broke broke? <laughs> no. Well, <laughs> oh, I'll counter this. I don't want you to have that card, so I'm going to counter it and put it in your graveyard. Okay, you got it. Well, unfortunately, I only have seven lands, so we're not in hoof territory just yet. Zero cards to five cards. Seems good. This is probably Beast of the Matchup, yeah. Welp. That's pretty cool. Can I target that with something? It's actually pretty sweet here. I mean, we're at lower life than they are. Do we just attack with the Lyra? Get your life points in there. Make sure you surveil. Man, I'm looking forward to a, a Sultai draft. I feel like I haven't done Sultai in a while. One, two, three, four, five. And then we have... We're three lands away from being able to activate both of those on the same turn. Basically, almost immediately. Yep, and I'm done. And I'm absolutely just done. <laughs> There's the Emrakul again. Wow, we drew Sneak Attack and Emrakul again. Uh, I'm going to bring in Beast Within. going to bring in Carnage Tyrant. Both of those seem very good in this matchup. Let's take out Incinerate. You don't seem very good at all. Let me just play 41. Blue Black probably doesn't have a way to deal with Tribunal. That's pretty nice. Maybe take out Monastery Mentor. Right, at least you get to play with some of the cool cards like Dragonlord Silumgar or Ashiok or this hand does not seem great. I'm going to keep this because we have Fertile Ground. Um, we can get rid of this guy. 
any land is nice. Like, we were really hoping to just draw two lands here, but I don't really want to go to five. No, what's going on, buddy? See how, you're, see how you smash when your hands fall off. Land? Well, at least we can Knight of Autumn now. So if they play Double Island. Hmm. Hmm. Come on, land so we can Oracle and then land off the top. Oh, we're living the dream here, boys. Um, red, white. You can do whatever you like. That is not a land. <clears throat> Heroes downfall, kill a Johnny. I called your mama bits last night. <laughs> oh man. Oh, they did not Heroes downfall. And we did not draw another land. This is getting sad. You see that land try to get away? Sinister Sabotage this, I dare you. Okay. I always have the Sinister Sabotage. Are you getting it? A really getting it? That doesn't even make any sense. That is not how sentences work. Sorry for turning the step out separate on mobile. So, it, dude, who, that, that, that is not an issue whatsoever. You just made up that. You just made up that issue. I can also feel the cat getting, but they just hit their second black, so now they're going to hear us downfall. Yep, never don't have that. Anytime lands, anytime I put lands on top of my library, uh, I'm good with it. Anytime. At any point, if you're like, I'd like to put some lands on top of your library, I'd be okay with it. I would not mind. If my opponent can hit every single land drop and a hero's downfall and a sinister sabotage when they need it, I feel like putting a land on the top of my library is really not too much to ask for, especially because they're going to steal our Oracle now and we're just going to be forced to draw Primeval Titan. Okay, that's a weird choice, but I guess... Okay. Oh, boy. Boy, 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 boy. Oh, buttery biscuits. I'm just going to play this knight here. How is this real, man? What would the crispy lettuce be? <laughs> what, do you mean what card? I don't know what you're asking right now. What are you saying right now? I'm just gonna gain four. I don't feel like uh, I don't feel like the, the the plus two is really gonna be that big of a difference here. Thankfully, we have a path on the top, so we can just go path. Knight of Autumn would be great if it uh if it had a rampant growth ability on it. That'd be sweet. I could just let me guess. You get rid of this. Yeah, of course you do. Why wouldn't you? Why wouldn't you hit seven mana before I hit three mana? That's totally reasonable. It's cool, man. We got a beast within now. <laughs> Look at this. I got my cool path to exile, but I have no... <laughs> I have no way to cast it. Oh, fantastic. I'm that butterfly meme, but I'm like holding the, uh, right here I'm holding my hand out, and in my hand it's a picture of their game and my game, and at the bottom it says, is this luck? On the right side we get to beast within their dragon, Silumgar, that's cool. And then they get a 3-3 so they can block our guys, so their Karn is really just never, it's just never leaving. Blah, 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 blah. Yes, oh my god, it's literally that. Is this a pile? No, dude, you have multiple mythics and uh, and rares. It's very good. It's a very good deck. I 
Okay, I'm done. Absolutely done here. They have five cards in hand. We can't even hit a fourth land. On turn nine? Come on, dude. Unfortunately, that draft did not go as well as expected, but I think the cards themselves were good. I think the luck was a little bit not on our side, especially when people in the chat are like, man, you really don't know how to draw lands or you only draw lands. Those are those are two very uh, very good, very astute observations. Either way, Spider-View, thank you so much for the stipulation. Really appreciate it. If you guys have not done so, you can check me out on Patreon, on Twitch, at manatraders.com. The link is in the description. You'll get 20% off your first three months of any subscription. And meundies.com slash franklapore, where you'll get 15% off, along with free shipping and free returns. Definitely check those out. I will see you guys later. Thank you for watching. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. Have a good one.